Hey guys, this is George from ErgonomicTrends.com. Uh, so I have in front of me the Evoluent Vertical Mouse 4, which is the most radical vertical mouse we've ever encountered. In this quick review, I'll tell you why exactly we picked it as the best mouse for people with carpal tunnel syndrome and wrist pain in 2020, and why despite this fact, the mouse is not for everyone. The one you see in front of me is the Evoluent Vertical Mouse 4 normal size. The mouse comes in a small and large size as well, and it's important to pick the right one based on your hand size. I'll leave a link in the description on how to properly measure your hand size. Let's take a look at the main features of a mouse now. To start, there is a mouse sensitivity rocker that lets you easily toggle the sensitivity of the mouse pointer. This is by far the best implementation of a DPI switch I've ever seen on a mouse. A LED bar shows you exactly how sensitive the mouse is right now on a scale. Also on the right side are three large buttons. The middle one is especially interesting, which I'll go over in a sec. To cushion your pinky finger as you maneuver the mouse, there is a protruding lip that is much appreciated. So back to the main buttons. Unlike most mouse, there is a third center button that is surprisingly functional. By default, when you click it over links on a web page, it automatically opens the link in a new tab in the background. On Google and other websites with lots of links that I want to open quickly in the background, this is a godsend to have a dedicated large button that does this. It's an awesome time saver that now has me wishing that all mouse came with a customizable third button. So let me show you now why we picked the Evoluent mouse as the very best mouse for people with copper tunnel syndrome or wrist pain. And it basically comes down to the hyper aggressive design of the mouse that basically has your hand and wrist assume a near perfect handshake position when you're using the mouse. If you look at the angle of my wrist and forearm when I'm holding the mouse, you'll notice that it's basically at a 90 degree angle relative to the surface of the desk. This minimizes any rotation of the wrist as you're using the mouse. Compare this to when I'm using another vertical mouse, and you'll notice there's a rotation of my wrist about 15 degrees to the right. Now look again as I'm holding the Evoluent mouse, and again you can notice the 90 degree angle of the wrist relative to the desk surface. There's no rotation of the wrist at all when I'm holding this position. And then now I'm holding the anchor mouse, and you'll notice that slight rotation. So this is why the Evoluent mouse is so good for your wrist. It basically keeps it at a completely neutral position, even compared to other vertical mouse with a less aggressive design. Let's talk about the downside of Evoluent's form factor, which is a comfort for some people. Because the perfect handshake position basically has you resting your wrist and forearm on its side, it's not as comfortable as if you rotate your wrist even slightly, where more of your wrist and forearm comes in contact with the desk surface. If you already have wrist pain, uh, that's a small price to pay to basically prevent your condition from getting worse. However, if you're just a normal user, uh, it's less of a convincing sell in my opinion. At the end of the day, the Evoluent mouse is perhaps the best ergonomic mouse if you are at a high risk of or already have wrist pain or even carpal tunnel syndrome. No other mouse pushes the envelope as far as Evoluent has in terms of its vertical form factor to protect your wrist. On the flip side, however, this means that this is not a mouse for everyone. For the average Joe that just wants to reduce his chances of developing wrist pain down the road without sacrificing any comfort, I feel other vertical mice with a less radical design would be perhaps a better choice. See our picks for a list of the best ergonomic mice in the description below.